Hello everyone, I'm Stormchecker AT, meteorologist Austin Haskins. We had some showers and storms track through the area yesterday afternoon into the evening hours. Once again, pretty scattered in nature. Some spots saw little to no rain. Others ended up getting a decent amount of rain, especially farther to the north and east. Places like Medford and Phillips up in Price County got over an inch to two inches of rain in some spots. Here in Eau Claire, we had about three quarters of an inch at the airport, but little to nothing on the south side of town. So again, it kind of varied on uh, where you were. But what we're tracking for today, areas of fog around this morning and also again overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. So we'll be watching that. And then just some widely scattered showers and storms around. The coverage of rain today is going to be lower than it was yesterday, but I still can't totally rule at least a few showers and storms tracking through. And this is thanks to a boundary that is down to our south. The rest of the week, trending drier with less humid weather and comfortable temperatures. We're also going to talk about some haziness in the skies still. You may have noticed the last couple of days from wildfires still going in Canada and in the western U.S. And that'll be from today and likely through the rest of the week. Weekend and early next week, we'll have clear to partly cloudy skies. Highs mid 80s to near 90 with dew points around 70. So it's going to be turning steamy and a little bit on the warm to even hot side. And we'll have a slight chance of thunderstorms around Sunday through early next week. So Futurecast today, again, a few showers and storms can't be ruled out. A lot of the runs of Futurecast today have really indicating little to no rain. But with the moisture around and maybe getting a little bit of some sunshine and the heating of the day and some energy, I think we can maybe have the possibility of a couple of showers and storms tracking through. Again, the rain coverage today, 20 to 30% or less. So most of us will likely stay dry through about you know, nine or so o'clock tonight. Once the sun goes down, we'll lose those rain chances. Then tomorrow morning, we'll deal with some clouds and some areas of fog. So we'll be tracking that for you on daybreak. And then tomorrow afternoon, Plenty of sunshine. It's wanting to show a couple spots of green, but with the drier air settling in as dew points fall into the 50s, likely not going to see much in terms of any uh, rain or cloud cover in the afternoon. Could have some clouds and fog Thursday morning to start, but most of Thursday looks great. A lot of sunshine, comfortable temperatures, seasonable temperatures that is, and those dew points remaining pretty low. And you can see rain chances going forward, just slight chances today and early this evening, and then basically nothing from Wednesday through Saturday during the day. A very low chance Saturday night, but I think Saturday night we're going to stay dry. And really Sunday into Monday, those rain chances are on the lower side, but we'll still mention at least a slight chance for a couple pop-up showers and storms. Now, the other thing to uh, kind of talk about, you know, we've been seeing, you know, kind of the milkiness in the skies lately. We've had that around at times the last couple of weeks, and that's because of wildfires in Canada and now in the western U.S. But looking at the atmospheric smoke here in the haze, it is going to be rather thick at times today into tonight and into the day tomorrow and likely maybe even continuing into Thursday and Friday as well. You can see by tomorrow night, it does let up at least a little bit here. It is much thicker out to the west. But thankfully, though, the good news is the lower level smoke, so this would be more so reaching down to the surface, that's on the very low end of the scale. So that's good news because even though we'll have the haziness in the skies, this will actually not impact our air quality too much. I do expect some air quality issues out farther west in parts of the Dakotas and Nebraska, but you can see here, not much in terms of any uh, major, you know, haze and smoke kind of reaching to the surface. The air quality may be impacted a little bit here, yes. Kind of have seen that already, kind of in that lower end of the moderate category if you w went online and looked at, you know, the air quality index. But I don't expect any alerts being issued going forward in terms of the air quality. So that's some good news there. Also, looking at the muggy meter, you can see that we'll be in the uh, 60s through today. We'll drop tomorrow. So tomorrow's looking better. Even Thursday and Friday, for the most part, we'll kind of hang out mostly in uh, the noticeable category. So mostly mid to upper 50s. But you can see by the weekend, though, we do ramp that back up into the 60s and even near 70, maybe even into the lower 70s by Sunday. So some very humid weather returning. And with temperatures getting well into the 80s to near 90, that's going to push the heat index well into the 90s. Of course, we'll talk more about that as we get towards the end of the week. Temperatures across the area today, generally about 75 to 80, which is a little bit below our seasonal averages, which is mostly lower 80s. Lows tonight a little bit cooler, mid to upper 50s and low 60s. That's a little bit closer to our average. The average low in Eau Claire is 60 degrees. Tomorrow, 73 to 78 across the area. So a little cooler tomorrow, but 
pleasant with the lesser humid conditions around. We'll bump temperatures up Thursday back towards average, mostly low 80s with upper 70s northeast. And then on Friday, we're looking at about 80 to 85 across the area. Most spots, though, likely getting into the mid 80s. We're looking at a high of 85 again on Friday in Eau Claire, 88 Saturday, 90 Sunday, and 89 on Monday. And the longer term outlooks do suggest a pretty good chance of above average temperatures continuing through most, if not all, of next week.